June twenty fourth, reconciling oneself to the fact of sin. This is your hour, and the power of darkness. Luke twenty two verse fifty three. It is not being reconciled to the fact of sin that produces all the disasters in life. You may talk about the nobility of human nature, but there is something in human nature that will laugh in the face of every ideal you have. If you refuse to agree with the fact that there is a vice and self-seeking, something downright spiteful and wrong in human beings, instead of reconciling yourself to it, when it strikes in your life, you will compromise with it and say it is of no use to battle against it. Have you made allowance for this hour and the power of darkness, or do you take a recognition of yourself that misses out sin? In your bodily relationships and friendships, do you reconcile yourself to the fact of sin? If not, you will be caught round the next corner, and you will compromise with it. If you reconcile yourself to the fact of sin, you will realize the danger at once. Yes, I see what that would mean. The recognition of sin does not destroy the basis of friendship. It establishes a mutual regard for the fact that the basis of life is tragic. Always beware of an estimate of life which does not recognize the fact that there is sin. Jesus Christ never trusted human nature, yet he was never cynical, because he trusted absolutely in what he could do for human nature. The pure man or woman, not the innocent, is the safeguarded man or woman. You were never safe with an innocent man or woman. Men and women have no business to be innocent. God demands that they be pure and virtuous. Innocence is the characteristic of a child. It is a blameworthy thing for man or woman not to be reconciled to the fact of sin.